Want to learn about a troubleshooting tool that can help you learn some more info? That's coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon. Welcome to Guy in a Cube. We are at the Pass Summit 2015. You can see registration right behind me. Things are kicking into gear here. And I still wanted to bring you a video that can help you out. So this week, we're gonna take a look at Fiddler, which can help you troubleshoot issues. And I've used it a lot with Power BI. And so I wanted to show you first how to actually use the tool, what it is, and how to get the most out of it. So first off, let's talk about what Fiddler is. And Fiddler is a tool that captures HTTP traffic and it can be used to gather request and response so that you can see what's actually going over the wire. Where this is really helpful is with SSL. If web traffic is encrypted over SSL, if you get a general network trace, you're not gonna see the communication going back and forth. With Fiddler, you can actually do that. To get Fiddler, what you wanna do is go to telerik.com slash Fiddler. You can see that here down below. It's a free tool that you can download and use. One thing you'll notice off the bat is when you open up Fiddler, it's gonna start capturing traffic immediately. To stop capturing traffic, you can just go to File, click on Capture Traffic, and the check will go away. To restart the capture, all you have to do is go back to File and Capture Traffic again. To get Fiddler capturing data the way that you want it to capture, what I recommend doing is going to Tools and then Fiddler Options. There you want to go to the HTTPS tab. From there you're going to make sure that Capture HTTPS Connects is checked. And then below that you're going to want to check Decrypt HTTPS Traffic. That's what's actually going to allow you to see what's going over in those SSL packets. When you check Decrypt HTTPS Sessions, it's going to prompt you to install the root certificate for Fiddler. This will add it to your trusted security zone. Fiddler is actually going to sit on top of HTTP and it acts as kind of a proxy that intercepts the traffic and decrypts it on the fly. So one thing you'll note when you're capturing that traffic is that it will inject that certificate as the root certificate for any HTTPS traffic going back and forth. And that if you encounter any type of SSL type issues, it may be because of that. Once you're capturing traffic over on the left hand side, you're going to actually see the traffic that's going back and forth and you can see the HTTP response code, the server that it's coming from, and some general information about it. Over on the right hand side you can dig in a little deeper. On the top is going to be the request information and on the bottom is going to be the response information. There's a bunch of different tabs there you can look at to go see what's going on. For instance you can go to raw and see what was actually the raw bytes that went over the wire. You can look at just the header information, you can look at the text information. There's just a lot of options that you can do to see what's going on. Once you're done, if you want to save that session out so that you can compare it against another session, all you have to do is go to File, Save, All Sessions, and then save that out to a file on your desktop. It's going to be a file extension of SAZ, and then when you're done, you can just double click on that SAZ file, and that'll open it right back up into Fiddler, or you can go to File and Open and open that file up. Okay, this was a quick look at Fiddler and how you can get up and running. Next week, I'm going to actually look at how you can use this in conjunction with Power BI and actually look at what's going on. But I wanted to make sure that we talked about what the tool was first and how to use it so that you were familiar with it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Let me know what you thought. Have you used this tool? Has it been helpful for you? I also have a link to Fiddler down in the description as well. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Tuesday, I look at a technical item such as this where I help you understand how things work or how to troubleshoot something or introduce you to a feature. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I look at the last week and find the items that I found most interesting and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I want to get as much info out there as possible to help you be more successful and effective in the work that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.